Mitchell up top, guarded by Harris. I was right there. By Utah. What an opportunity here. Yeah, chance to take the lead. This is huge. AI kicks to LeBron. Trifecta! <laughs> no doubt. You love seeing him knock down the clutch basket. And yes. Jazz call time here. Yes. They're trailing by two. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Yes. Pass to X. Outside Crowder. And he's... No! Kevin... He'd leave you with a quote. Something for you to think about. The mind is a gemstone that transforms the body from a circle to a ring. Huh. Deep, ain't it? Keep your mind on the court, boy. Off that phone. Let's go, Kareem. Uh, okay. th thank you. All right. I just want to say I really appreciate you coming in and talking to my team. Thank you so much. Hope I can be of some help. Yeah, it means a lot. Okay. I'm ready, baby. I'm ready, baby. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here. Shaq's here. Kenny's here. Welcome to this edition of 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Utah Jazz against the Los Angeles. And for Los Angeles, they were swept by this team last season, losing all three games they played against them. So they'll be motivated tonight. And in tonight's matchup, we'll get to watch AI. Went undrafted out of college, even after leaving early. Shaq, how did every team pass up on this guy? I have a confession, Ernie. Oh, are but, you going to answer my question, or are you going to do I, a confession? I, I have a confession. Okay. I want to hear this. On social media, they call me a liar. I confess, I am a liar. So can I be honest right now? Yeah. I can be honest. Yes. Honestly, he wasn't ready. Hard to draft a guy who needs that much development. And that's the truth, and nothing but the truth. That sounded yeah. like uh, partly an answer. And partly like some kind of a cathartic kind of a getting something off your chest. I don't know what cathartic means, but if that's good, then yeah. It was cleansing for you. Or just say cleansing. Always using those big words. Yeah. Sorry. Can't cathartic. hide that. I, look, I went to the University of Georgia, and I can't hide it. Cathartic. I, I like cathartic. But a lot of great players in the NBA have gone undrafted. You know, you, you got Ben Simmons. Yeah. I'm sorry, Ben Wallace. Yeah. Jeremy Lin. The list goes Boy, on. Boy, it must have been very boring. They started playing the music before you were done. I know. Good guys, man. I love them. All right, guys, this is enough. I need your attention for a minute. Got a very special guest Whoa. here with me today. That's right. He don't even need an introduction. <laughs> Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Now listen, Kareem is going to be working with the team as a special advisor over this season. All right? That means individual attention for each of you. But before we go out here and win this game, I wanted him to say a few words to you guys. Take it away, big dog. Thanks, coach. I've been watching what this team has done to start the season. And there's a lot to like. But one of the main things I want to stress to you guys, to each one of you, is how important it is to find balance in your life. Being a professional athlete isn't easy. So you've got to remember to explore the world off the court every chance you get. Go to the library, read a book, educate yourself, and it will make a difference for you on the court. I promise you that. Yes, believe me, guys, that's some great advice, all right? I urge you to take everything this man is saying to heart. He ain't a six-time champ for nothing. Balance is key. So with that being said, let's focus up. Let's go out here and let's win this game, okay? Let's I go. Come on. I got this. I got this. <sighs> Listen, AI. You know, I've heard your story. I know where you've been. You have all the potential in the world. But perhaps more than anyone else on this team, you need to be careful not to get caught up in all the off-court distractions. Don't worry about things like fame and branding. 
Those will come. Focus your time and energy on expanding your mind and worldview. The key to being a true champion is not just physical, but mental and spiritual. Basketball will end one day, but life continues on. I, mean, I, I hear you, and I appreciate that, but... <laughs> Kareem, I'm still a rookie, you know, I still got plenty of time to think about these things later on, right? You know, life comes on you real fast, AI. Let me leave you with a quote, something for you to think about. The mind is a gemstone that transforms the body from a circle to a ring. Huh. <laughs> Deep, ain't it? <laughs> Keep yeah. your mind on the court, boy. Off that phone. Let's go, Kareem. Uh, okay. Th thank you. All right. I just want to say I really appreciate you coming in and talking to my team. Thank you so much. Hope I can be of some help. That means a lot. That was deep, man. Sheesh. All right, let's go on with it, man. Let's do this. Jump shot, man. Well, the weekend has officially begun, and we welcome you to this 2K Sports presentation of NBA basketball. We bad. With Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and Hall of Fame sideline reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan, and tonight we're joined by a legend of the NBA, five-time NBA champion Kobe Bryant has stopped by. Kobe, great to have you with us. And let's go straight over to Dave. Well, thank you very much. Now, if the name AI sounds familiar, in China, he dropped a massive highlight reel jam on Corey Harris. It went viral. That notoriety landed AI a spot in the G League, and from there, it was onward and upward. It is true that one shot can really change your life. Guys? David, as always, thank you. I remember seeing that dunk. Wow. <laughs> and that was the talk of the basketball world for a minute. I, I remember seeing for the first time and just wondering, who is this kid? Kobe, a lot of teams now playing a more spread out offensive style. You played uh, with a spread four and Robert Ory, R. Odom. You, you also played with uh, more of a twin tower feel on your roster. Which way would you lean when you think about those different styles? That doesn't matter to me. You like you them know, all? Yeah, it just depends on the personality that you have. Right. And with the personality that you have, you make the most out of it. That puzzle so, you keep talking about. Absolutely. Yeah. It's just, every puzzle's built differently. Right. Right. And you just try to do what you can with what you yeah. have. Yeah. So, doesn't matter. And you like that My figuring ball, out baby. process. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Even yeah. though you're the same, you've, you've got to kind of adapt now what's on your roster. Yeah, you have to be able to adapt to the players that you have around. Ooh, you. Ooh, you know, ooh, ooh. Oh, I did. What do they need? I didn't and, uh, come for a head guy. Leader of the team, make that shift. They'll be fine with whatever they have on their roster. Great description. The starters for the Utah Jazz, Favors and Gobert, the tough pair inside. Mitchell and Ingles are out on the wing. And it's Exum in at the point. Ingles in the corner, five to shoot. Back to Mitchell. Beyond the arc, Corey Harris with the block. Oh. Passes to James. Harris dishes to AI. Oh, is that? Foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul. Refs calling it close already as he picks up a quick early foul. Yay! Yeah. Not my fault. In the corner, it's Harris. Come on, LeBron, let's do this. AI outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes up to the stripe. Well, you can see what a smart positional defender Joe Ingles is. Oh my God, how are you there? The progress of the offense. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by ball. How did that miss that, man? Oh my God. Gobert with it. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. That's it. Exum with it. Now guarded by Ball. Just five on the clock. Ingles finds Gobert. Over AI. No. No. Gobert can't hit. Boy, that's just the kind of tight defense you need to play on him. Any kind of room at all, and he'll bury it. 
Let's talk about something that I know fascinates basketball fans, Kobe, having that competitive streak, which is... What was that? Runs deep Talk it, you. man. Uh, talk about the desire to dominate and completely destroy your, <laughs> your opponent. Well, it's the spirit of competition, right? I, I don't think you're doing anybody any uh, service by going out there and competing half-hearted. Mm -hmm. right? If you truly respect the person that you're facing, then the right thing to do is compete as hard as you possibly can against them to bring the best out of them. And that's on both ends of the floor. You can't be a, a one-way dominant player. You can't just compete on the offensive end and take it off on the defensive end. You got to play both sides of the ball. Your motor never stopped. I mean, that, that's from our perspective on the sideline, watching you play on both ends of the floor, like you said. Yeah, you got to keep going. And, and to do that, you have to train really, really hard in all season. I mean, yeah. that's a lot of conditioning. It's a lot of weight training, right? You have to train in extraordinary ways in order to do extraordinary things. I think you're open, though. With the slam. Oh, you love to see favors get high for the slam. What an impressive vertical with that size. Harris against Mitchell. Out to Kuzma. Good. Back to AI. Go bear with oh, oh, the leading force who continues to wipe away shots with ease. Go to work, Rudy Gobert. What was that? About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Gobert pulls it in. Well, the defense trying to get out on him, but he's left with the open shot. He's got to make that one. Ingles kicks to Gobert. Down low. And stolen by LeBron. Good job. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah. LeBron James has been fouled so many times in his career, it doesn't even phase him anymore. There is no stopping this guy. Raul Neto's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. Kobe, when you think of that rough and tumble bad, style yo. of the Pistons and the Knicks in the 80s versus this more wide open style, which style do you appreciate more? And which style was more difficult to play? Well, personally, I always wanted to play in the 80s because of the defensive rules, the right. illegal defense rules, where yes. you have to play man to man. You, yes. know, you can't come in and 2 9 in the paint. There's no zone defenses. Yeah. You, know, you have to go mano y mano. Right? If you're going to you double love that team, challenge. Oh, my gosh. Love come on it. now. Yeah. You can't, huh? People can't hide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Players can't hide. You know, it's a player out there that might not be a good defensive player or doesn't really want to play defense, he can hide. In the 80s, you can't do that. No height. No, there's no height. You're on an island. <laughs> and here's Harris from the arc. Gobert pulls it in. That was bad, man. Gobert's got his fourth rebound in this one. Exum with a wide open look. Sinks wow. the three-pointer. Well, Dante Exum knocking down shots will put a smile on this team's face. He continues to work on the offensive end. Ball, the pass to LeBron. Fades back. No good off the front iron. Hey, we're not seeing the best quarter by this guy, and he's lost his feel a little bit. Ball kicks to Harris. It's good from long range. Yeah. Harris has got his yeah. first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Showing he has the range. Give Harris an opportunity to shoot it from deep, and he'll make you pay. Here's Favors. What kind of shot was that? It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. Yeah, I, I just thought their energy was lacking defensively. Just gave up way too many easy shots. And when the defense isn't there, Greg, you really open up the floodgates for the other team. Dunk the ball. Dunk it. Positioning right there doesn't let anybody beat him to the spot before he can get the follow-up. For Los Angeles, they have shot just one free throw earlier, one for one in the game. Here's Neto. No points in the game yet for him. And James picks up the foul. Stop it. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Ingles, inside, 
Kobe Yet they still have the ailments that, That's generous. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but a lot of guys have ailments that, that linger on yeah. through their post uh, career. What kind of work? Wow. I know you were just a workout fiend when you played, but what about wow. now in, uh, in retirement? I work out hard. Do you? you know, yeah, it's uh, it's become a challenge to say because most players when they retire say, you know what, I just don't want to gain a, a boatload of weight, mm -hmm. right? And so they just try to try to manage that. I don't want to manage something. I want to attack something. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say, you know what? Well, that's a surprise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. revelation. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so I said, I'm going to train harder than I ever did because I want to. I want to look good. I want to be fit mm -hmm. for my children. I want to be able to chase them around and be able to show up at some of these retirement ceremonies or some of these other things. And looking like you did when you played. Being in great shape. Yeah. So. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And girl, oh, you're staying in shape even now. Isn't it sad sometimes to see how a lot of guys don't do that? Yeah, it's hard, right? Because mm -hmm. you, you Very have a hard. purpose to train. Yes. And now you wake up, you're like, oh, what's my purpose for training? Mm -hmm. like, oh, what do I need to be doing this for? You know, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And all of a sudden, those handles start creeping from the back to the front. <laughs> and you're like, oh, uh-oh. Yeah. Tomorrow's today. My clothes don't fit. <laughs> yeah. My clothes yeah. don't fit. Tomorrow should have been yesterday. <laughs> Neto kicks to Gobert. Oh, the lob to Gobert and slam dunk by Gobert. I'm sorry, man. Oh, the seven footer Gobert, the alley oop finish. My goodness, the stifled tower with the score. James looking around. And yeah, it baby. It Turn right back. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> pass to Favors. That shot, no good. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Now, AI. 29 points for him last game against nice. the Cavaliers in Cleveland. And made a big mark at the free throw line as well. He got himself to the strike a lot and cashed in when he had his chance. And out of bounds, yes. the Lakers gain possession. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. Wow. Taking a look at Utah. Third best record here in the early going. And of oh, course, the Lakers, four and a half games behind. You know, for Los Angeles, so far, it looks like the adjustments they made in the offseason aren't going to produce the desired effect. And remember, this was a team that had talked about the importance of getting off to a quick start. This has been a worst-case scenario. Their confidence looks shaken. Here's LeBron. Utah with the rebound. Gobert's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Wow. In the NBA, because the, the players are so individually great, and we all know about them, and the league pushes them in that direction. You know, you got the torch from Michael. You then gave it to LeBron for that. You know, it was Dr. J. And yeah. and, and and how I find that wow. amazing. I feel like they're just going to take one it, man. Player to another yet each are so individual in their accomplishments <laughs> did, did, did you like receiving it and did you like passing it on yeah i love both um you know the receiving and then passing it yes. on because it's, it's the infinite cycle it's an infinite loop and the game just continues to evolve and players continue to grow and so ah, yeah yeah you know, how you get that, that after watching it for so many years growing up from you know magic and larry and then to michael and then myself and LeBron and now whoever comes next it's, it's just it's an infinite loop and I'm happy to be a part of it Neto finds Gobert four on the clock yep that one goes Gobert's got eight here's Rondo he's averaging around five and a half points a game he dishes it to LeBron and there's another turnover by the Lakers now let's check out and highlight the best defenses in the NBA. The Jazz, number one. Great defenders, both individually and collectively. I mean, you can tell they really love accepting that challenge. They can stifle you at that end of the floor. Exum passes to Gobert. Here's Neto over to the left wing. On the wing, Cephalosha, guarded by Kuzma. Cephalosha's shot is good. 
And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Harris kicks to James. Back to Harris. Just five to shoot. From eight, it's deflected, and they force the shot clock violation. Wow. D. And the Lakers with some changes. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for right Kyle there. Kuzma. Brandon Ingram comes in for LeBron. And it's Kentavious Caldwell Pope in for Harris. Utah also making some changes. Udo's checked in for Gobert. And Royce O'Neal subbed in for Exum. O'Neal kicks to Udo. And Kobe, I remember you saying that curiosity is such a valuable trait in a player. I, I bet the triangle was a very intriguing offense for you to learn and grasp. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it's, uh, it created such a system. It's like, you know, uh, jazz. When people mm. watch jazz musicians orchestrate, and it seems as if they're freelancing, but they're freelancing wow. with a built-in structure. You have to have structure mm -hmm. in order to be able to freelance and create these amazing things. And the triangle gave unbelievable structure. And, you know, some of the people that I've talked to that have competed against the triangle and lost against the triangle, whether it was to us or to the Bulls, all lament about the triangle is the biggest crock of garbage. Mm -hmm. It was just mm -hmm. you and Michael. And I said, you know what? Let's have a conversation about that. Do you remember this play? Yeah. Okay, that play happened at the moment it happened with two minutes to go in the fourth quarter because we knew in the first minute of the game when we ran it. I you did this was right there. So we said, okay, they did that. Check. We'll wait. Okay, now let's look at this action. Okay, this action, how they're playing this action. They're playing mm -hmm. it that way. All right, check. Hold it. We'll wait. Interesting. <laughs> right? Very and so in the fourth quarter, we're able to take advantage. Why? Because we have a structure. From that structure, we know what you are doing, and we know how to counter what you're doing. Right? There's a reason Michael can look at Steve Kerr in a timeout and say, be ready. How would he know that? Yeah, right. How right. would he know that mm -hmm. unless he knew every time he drove middle, Stockton was coming over to help on his dribble penetration? He could have made that pass to Steve Kerr in the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. Why did he wait? That's good stuff. <laughs> Sevaloja with it. Out guarded by Ingram. Six on the shot clock. Sevaloja kicks to O'Neal. From deep, Neto. Tyson Chandler grabs the board. And there's the pass to Caldwell Pope. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajan Rondo. And it's a four-point Laker lead. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Seven-second difference, shot and game clock. Now, here is Cephalosha. He had 10 points in the win against Sacramento. And what a wrecking ball defensively, seen by the four steals he had in that game. That's a nice play. You have to read and react in an instant to have success on the offensive glass. The Jazz shooting their first foul shot of the night. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. Ouch, that's a wasted possession. Got to shake it off and forget it happened, guys. Wow. Five seconds left here in the first quarter. On deep, Neto, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Yeah, and the appreciation I have for Rondo, he's able to stay with this man and then uses his speed to just affect. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Oh my God. Rudy Gobert talks about his expectations for the no. team. No, no. I don't care about it. Come on, you know come on. Well, and as a competitor, this is what you should be thinking. And, Greg, you should be talking about winning a title. For sure. I mean, it'll take a lot of work, but Gobert sounds like he's up for the challenge of proving the doubters wrong. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Lakers here so far, guys. I mean, so far, that they're not settling for outside shots, really attacking the paint. I think that's what you've got to do, right? If the looks on the interior are there, you have got to attack. On the perimeter, Caldwell Pope and Ingram. AI is out there with Chandler, and it's Rondo in at the point guard. That's the Laker five. Pass to Ingram over Cephalosha. No good off the back of the rim. Well, can't find the target, but good work to get into open space inside the arc. 
Kobe, in, in other sports, I mean, people always admired the mind of Peyton Manning playing in the NFL. Tom Brady, the way he thinks the game through. I compare you to that. Did you have that same kind of uh, fascination in other sports with the great players that were similar to you in basketball? Yeah, yeah, we, we used to get I together. Know, I remember the, the first time I met Peyton was at an Orlando Magic game, 99. He came in the locker room. We were just starting getting started. I was asking questions about his process and stuff. He started going to like Thank cover you. two and, sup, 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 da, 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 da. and I was like, <laughs> and he went on for like a good five minutes. When he was done, I said, Peyton, I don't understand anything you just said, right? But, but he spoke at a level of detail that was beyond fascinating. You were impressed by that? Yes, which then leads to more questions. You're like Tom, Tom and I talk often about that stuff too. And how much we love the game, how much we love the process and the attention to every little detail. It's fun to be around, no matter the industry. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, as we know, Rudy Gobert is a seven-footer with an aggressive mentality. He said, some guys don't have pride, but I do, sometimes too much. Quinn Snyder said he gets angry, which I like. Whatever kind of stereotypes Americans have about the French, they don't apply. Not to him anyway, guys. Sacre bleu! Thank you, GA. He is indeed a fiery competitor. The drive by Mitchell. We know this about Donovan Mitchell. This guy shows no fear, even inside. Draws the foul there. It's his first trip to the line. Ball, the pass to AI. Mitchell kicks to Ingles. LeBron with the block. He was tracking that shot the whole way. No chance LeBron was letting that get to the rim. Nice ball movement by Utah. Shot clock at five. Mitchell with it. AI picks him up. But they get it back. Mitchell outside. Nailed from three point wow. land. Mitchell's got seven now in this quarter. And gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. And playing in Los Angeles, did, did you ever look into the crowd and just appreciate that platform and just think, wow, how can it get any better than Los Angeles and and winning yeah. in Los Angeles? <laughs> yeah, I mean, right? I, yeah, I used to, you know, look on the sidelines when I first came out here and you see Jack Nicholson, and you see you know, all of these A-list celebrities and actors. And the thing that I always found fascinating and interesting is that you know, I would go and watch them on the screen. And here they're all watching me before. Yeah. And uh, it's fascinating. Because when we watch them on the screen performing, you understand that there's one take, there's two takes, in, there's three takes, right? There's prep that goes in. When they're watching this performing, there are no masks. Right? If I take a horrible shot, I can't I can't say cut, take two. <laughs> you know, He's you not dunking, you know, man. And so I took a lot of pride in trying uh -huh. to give them the best performance I possibly can, live and direct. Here's Neto, guarded by Harris. Neto kicks to Gobert. Mitchell against Harris. That's tipped, and they're able to recover. Poked away. Gobert dishes to Mitchell. Here's Favors, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, this run largely the result of offensive rebounding. And Utah making a change here. Axum's checked in, and the free throw, no good. But I think for Derek Favors, it's a matter of continuing to improve your game, especially on the defensive end of the floor. Here's Exum. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. Here's Mitchell. And that comes off the assist by Exum. Exum's got three assists tonight. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Ball kicks to Kuzma. Passes it to Harris. AI with it. Now defended by Gobert. Here's AI. Here's Kuzma. <laughs> Gobert with the block. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. And here's a look at some numbers for Kuzma. Over the last 10 games or so, he's really shown up. He's putting up about 14 points a night, four assists, and four rebounds. And for any other player putting up those numbers, we'd say they were great. But for him, they're just simply run of the mill. 
Agreed. A lot of guys in this league would be very happy with that stat line. But this guy is the real deal. He is built for more. Now, here's Exum. He's tightly guarded. Kicks it out to Mitchell. And again, it's Utah. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Well, Kobe, I have to say it's been a real pleasure having you stop by our booth and spending some time with us for this game. Thanks again for coming by. I hope we can do it again. Uh, we will, man. I, it's, uh, it's been a bless. There he is, folks, the great Kobe Bryant. And with Kobe stopping by the booth doors, I'm always amazed at the type of things Kobe will notice about both NBA and the players competing that the casual fans rarely think about. Well, you think back to Kobe's career and how much his preparation and studying of the league and his opponents contributed to his success. And obviously, with what we just heard, this guy still holds so much knowledge of the game. And this is I how you me, Harris can be off the pass. Excellent at catching the D by surprise. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. LeBron against Ingles. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Lakers trail by 10. James outside. Pass to Harris. Floats it up for A. Thank you. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Just really unselfish there Harris is someone who knows when one of his guys is wide open just one second between the shot clock and game clock and the call will be against Harris that's foul number two for him Mitchell against Harris Mitchell outside just five on the clock over Harris. Just a strong, assertive defender. Uh, you like seeing Harris be this aggressive in terms of contesting shots. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for the Utah Jazz. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks for the yep. great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Come on. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Really an incredible game from AI. And through two quarters, surprising how aggressive he was offensively. Yeah, I think this guy was really looking for his shot on every possession. Remarkable effort from him on the offensive end in that first half. I so think he did that, Mitchell and Ingles are out on the wings. Favors and Gobert. The How do you make that? Inside. And it's How do you make that? The one. Out of offense as Doris initiate that high pick and roll offense, which is so fun to watch. Which ball handlers do you want running that play for you if you were on the sideline? Come on now. There are some master manipulators in the pick and roll. Let's begin with the great James Harden. We'll begin with his teammate Chris Paul. Steph Curry. You give Steph Curry wow. options to read in a pick and roll, he's going to wow. make the right choice. There are a lot of guys who can manipulate the defense in a pick and roll, but those three are at the top of my list. Jazz leading by nine. Mitchell passes to Gobert. And here's Exum. He kicks it to Favors. Favors has got eight points. And you love that Favors bounces off defenders effortlessly. Fantastic at finishing despite the defense being right in his grill. And there's the call on Rudy Gobert. That is his first foul of the game. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. LeBron passes to AI. Gobert brings the double team. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> On the wing, James. 12 points for him. Lock it two. Can't hit that one. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. 
90 seconds now into the second half. Mitchell kicks to Exum. And Utah, another three. Marvelous start to the second half. Three for three. We can't stop that. And here's no James to bring it up for Los Angeles. It's a 14-point game. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Harris, Gobert with the block, and he gets it back. AI dishes to LeBron. Back to AI. And Thank you. Throws it down. Oh, dynamic two-hand jam. Mm -hmm. And right in the face of the defender. Jazz leading by 12. Exum with it. He's got six. Mitchell wide open. No good with the triple. You know, missed that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Three for four now. He had a nice open look right there. Harris has got it back down to within single digits for the Lakers. The Jazz have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Exum kicks to Favors. Harris against Mitchell. Banked in off the glass. Mitchell's got 14 points for the game. There's a measure of composure with Donovan Mitchell, just so calm and focused, understanding how to manipulate the pick and roll. Los Angeles calls timeout. Doris, you know you watch the athleticism that Mitchell has, and it's a surprise he didn't go any higher in the draft. Well, this is a guy who had so many highlight reel dunks in his young career, proven scorer over the course of the 82-game season. But listen, Mitchell wasn't a scorer at Louisville, so it's not surprising what happened in the draft. Rajon Rondo's checked in for the Lakers. Crowder, he's checked in for Utah. Cephalosha comes in for Joe Ingles. And there's the call on Rudy Gobert. That'll be his second foul of the game. Ingram, he's checked in for Harris. And it's Rondo in the corner. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Let me tell you, when Donovan Mitchell starts to cook, you might as well sit back and enjoy the show. Rondo passes to AI. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Mitchell dishes to Cephalosha. LeBron with the block. To the inside. It's stolen by Gobert. Exum kicks to Crowder. Ball's knocked loose. Why do you stop? <laughs> now LeBron. He's got 12. Outside Rondo. AI outside. Addition out to LeBron. Back to AI. And it's good for two. AI's got four points this quarter. He continues to be a dangerous scorer for them, but he can't do it all by himself. So I know. Else has got to help them climb out of this hole. Exum finds Gobert. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That's his first foul. And Los Angeles. Outside for Rondo. Got a piece of it. <laughs> wow. Cephalosha against Ingram. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Lakers making a change here. Stevenson's checked in. And the pass to Udo. Caldwell Pope against Cephalosha. Nice ball movement by Utah. Just five to shoot. Right at the free throw line. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. James has got six rebounds here tonight. Caldwell Poe passes to AI. Kicks to Stevenson. Back to AI. Thank you. And AI Thank you, baby. Down home. Oh, forget about going for the long range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop my friend and how brilliant throwdown. down free throw good AI 
Dora, statistically, today's game is picked apart by so many, so many different ways. But for you, what are the statistical areas that you are most interested in? Well, I think one of the things that can be undervalued, particularly from the defensive side of the ball, are things like deflections or charges taken or even shots contested. And I say those things, Kevin, because deflections force an offense to restart. Charges taken gets a possession for your team. And Thank you, baby. <laughs> obviously the field goal percentage of the team you're guarding so it's all of those little defensive stats that you really have to track and be monitoring to understand the value that they have on winning very interesting Cephalosha kicks to Crowder dishes at the Udo pass to Cephalosha Crowder from outside drills it from outside how do you make that Crowder's got eight points. How do you know this? Jay Crowder is an effective shooter. Someone who can shoot the three well. You've got to get into his space. Here's Caldwell Pope. Here's AI. Tries again. And he takes the layup. AI's got 26 points. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Sevaloja with it. Now guarded by Stevenson. Stevenson against Sevaloja. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Josh Hart, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And a switcher also for Utah. Axum's checked in. Come on. Here's Cephalosha. Yeah. He averages a bit over six points a game. Knocked loose. Six to shoot. Shot by Crowder. No good. Lakers trail by nine. James, the pass to AI. Oh, baby. Defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. You can't stop me. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. You can't win, but you can't stop me. James always looking for his guys. You can't stop me. Unreal. Balls checked in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. The Jazz also changing it up. Derek Favors checked in for Udo. And it's Joe Ingles in for Tabo Cephalosha. You can't win, but you can't stop me, man. And it's Exum with the ball who will bring it up for Utah. They've led by as many as 14 points. Outside Favors. Passes it to Ingles. Back to Favors. Knocked loose. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. And here's what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Sunday, they'll defend home court against the Orlando Magic. And then on Tuesday, they'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. And, and oh, looking at the Mavericks matchup, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. AI dishes to James, and Derek Favors picks up the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Boy, plenty of time left in the clock. He needs to keep his poise. That's his fourth foul now. Harris has checked in for Lance Stevenson. And a switcher also <laughs> for Utah. Go Bears checked in. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, the Jazz had to weather the loss of Gordon Hayward, so they need to play together to have success. Coach Quinn Snyder said, we expect guys to put the team in front of themselves and support each other. Our strength isn't in one guy. We need each other. Kevin? David, one thing for sure, they come to play almost every game. Thank you. Ooh, with a player this hot, I don't see their lead going anywhere. One thirty-three left to play here in the third. Harris inside, covered by Mitchell. And with that, the Utah lead is cut down now <laughs> to just seven on the bucket from Harris. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Back to go, Bear. 
Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll hit the line. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Well, Rudy Gobert has taken on more of a leadership role with this team. Clearly a difference maker on the court with his defense, and will get the team to fall in line. Hard to argue with one of the elite rim protectors in our league. Back to Harris. Pass the ball. Lock at six. Kuzma passes to AI. Gobert with the Where? ball. And with the success they've had <laughs> rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Seems to me that Rudy Gobert is this stuff the going defensive be player of the year man, I hate it. every season. But on the offensive end, guys, he's really starting to grow. Thank you. I hate that stuff, dog. Now, here's Ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Count that one. Well, we've seen that movie a few times. Tim Tickleway. Easy bucket in the paint. Jazz leading by 10. Mitchell outside. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, see now, Mitchell is a quick-footed guard, and he's going to get defenders in compromising situations. And Mitchell drops them both. Harris kicks to AI. Back to Harris. Over Mitchell. Off on that one. I'll tell you, Mitchell locked in on the defensive end. He's so good getting after it. Well, through three quarters of... And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feed. Come on. Greg, nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. They've got Kyle Kuzma. Harris is out there with ball. Then it's AI. Thank you. And it's Hart in at the three slot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Here's Exum. Here's Mitchell. Engels trying to get open. And there's Mitchell. That's good on the assist by Exum. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Ball, the pass to Harris. And it's AI missing. How do you need that? Yeah, that's just a missed opportunity. Something there just a little off. Yeah, simply a little bit careless, I think. Can't just throw it up there. You have to time these alley-oops perfectly. Got a piece of it. And Ball using those long arms to just swat away that shot. I love the hustle. Always nice to have a point guard who can block shots. Kuzma kicks to Hart. Takes a three. Good on the three-point shot. Nice. You hope that's a wake-up call for the defense, boys, because you give them that clean a look and it's over. Jazz leading by 10. Mitchell passes to Exum. Back to Mitchell. Tipped away. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And the Lakers have possession. Nice. On the wing, Corey Harris. White block shot. That falls. Nice. nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists in the game. Five of wow. And That's probably losing, the ball man. will bring it up for the Utah Jams. Yes, it is. Led by That's as many as 14 points. Here's Favors. Off the left rim and out. 
and defensively moving his feet there, staying right on top of the shooter. You want to make that? Great job Thank you. Okay. Fouling exactly how you want to defend the mid-range shot. Building confidence in that deep ball. One from distance in the first, two in the second. Exum deciding where to go with it. Right through the D for the layup. And the Jazz lead by seven. Enjoy watching Dante Exum shred the defense spectacular with the handle. Nice ball movement here by the Thank you. <laughs> and it down. They needed a run desperately. And boy, did they come up big. Oh, they regrouped. They worked out some of their frustrations. And now we're seeing them have some fun. Here's Mitchell. And two free throws coming yeah. up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. To me, guys, Donovan Mitchell gives evidence and credence to the notion that drafting players is more art than science. Think about it. This guy taken 13th. Not much was expected. But all of last year, he was neck and neck in the heat of the Rookie of the Year talk. Los Angeles making a switch here. Ingram's checked in. To the middle. And AI Thank you, here, baby. And all of a sudden, the shots now falling in bunches. The complexion of this game has completely changed. Where's the Van James? Communication on offense is working at every level now. These guys are really cohesive. What a run. Mitchell against Harris to the paint and Gobert. How you miss that, man? By Mitchell, and that's now 19 points for Rudy Gobert. Lakers trail by seven, and with Mitchell being slept on, motivated him into Doris a great rookie season. Well, Jimmy Butler said Mitchell plays with a chip on his shoulder, and I'll tell you, he does seem to have that me against the world approach. What? Whatever his motivation, Kevin, it's working. Clock at four. <laughs> they can't stop me. They can't stop me. <laughs> with that one hander. He got a little extra forceful. You're right with that one. Utah leading by five. I'm tired, coach. Take me out. And here's Exum. Ask me out. Coach, ask me out. Gobert finds favor. To go bear. Are you shoot? Deep. Kuzma pulls it in. And you don't want to give up that. Oh my kind god, of Kuzma, give me the ball. Stolen by Mitchell. Are you kidding me? Wow. There's the pass to go bear. And here's Exum. Back to go bear. On the wing angles. Five to shoot. Here's Mitchell, Corey Harris with the block. I mean, you have to be cognizant of where Harris is. He's solid at timing when the block shots. And the rejection by Favors. What's and the point James? It's out of bounds. Favors touched it last. Crowder, he's checked in for you. Coach, what are you doing? And so it's the Lakers with it. Trailing by five. Offensive rebound. What's the run <laughs> And there's the whistle. Three second violation. Coach, bring the back. Bring him back. What are you doing? And it's the Lakers ball. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Ball with it. Pass to Kuzma. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Where's LeBron James? Leading by three. Exum kicks to Mitchell. Now the feed to Gobert, and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. You know, you've got to be composed mentally right now at this time of the game. It, it's really careless play right there. L.A.'s gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Harris outside. Down low. And <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. A little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Now, it's all calls Take me out. Well, I mean, he needs to talk Take me out. Bring LeBron James back in. Absolutely no rim protection whatsoever. Take me out. At this point, the other team is playing all over them on the inside. And now, let's present our Jordan player of the game, Rudy Gobert. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a... I'm still in. Oh, my God. And look, and no LeBron James. No LeBron James. Coach, what are you doing? What are you doing? He told him, hey, right. this is a close game, but if we execute right here, I like our chances. There's no need for hero ball. Trust one another. Make the simple play. Kevin, back to you. Block it two. Here's Mitchell, rejected by Harris. Thank you. To take the lead. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. He don't make it. Many had wondered if the Jazz would rebuild Mama. after they lost Hayward. Turns out they just Doris reloaded. Now give the Jazz organization yep. from the top down a ton of credit because after losing Gordon Hayward, they didn't mope or feel sorry for themselves. Okay, the Brian's back. Okay, good. Thank Donovan you. Mitchell in the draft. And we this got is this. a team that's got talent in the post Hayward era, and they are going to be a factor. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That's his first foul. Of course, please take me out. I'm tired. Please, let's win this game. Please. Utah with the ball. Mitchell dishes to Crowder. Nice ball movement by Utah. Six to shoot. To stop the Crout. And it's Mitchell missing. The Lakers in the lead. Now AI to the inside stolen by Exum to the middle here's Ingles beautiful dish in the lane oh, yeah. maybe he's good he's <laughs> stay on the bench that realizing when he should wow with it. really good timing on that shot ball the pass to AI James outside stolen by Exum and now Ingles pushing it up no one back to stop him feeds it to Gobert and it's AI with the rebound. AI's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Inside. Picks it out to LeBron. You gonna make it? And right Thank you. Goes. And the Lakers lead by one. Uh, LeBron was anticipating that catch and shoot. Nicely done. Exum dishes to Mitchell. Just five on the clock. And the shot is good. Mitchell's got 33 points. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Now, here's Ball. Tight defense on him. The wide open look here for Kuzma. No good from outside. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That's foul number two for him. And here's Ingles outside. A really terrific job from LeBron to keep his hands up, his feet moving, gets the challenge on that shot. And that's an example of willpower right there, guys. I mean, grabbing the offensive rebound and then going back up. Nigel, give me the ball. Like this where every possession what are you trying to fool, man? That could prove to be a very big mm -hmm. one. Yeah, he saw he had a huge opportunity to help his team. Score is tight-knit, and he comes through. Harris, good. Oh, since the break, his efficiency has gone up a notch, looking really polished now. Utah has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. That's good for Mitchell on the assist by Exum. Oh, stick me out. Six assists in the game. Wow, Donovan Mitchell simply fearless when his team is in need. And the Lakers call time here. Donovan Mitchell really making a difference here. 
Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a three-point game, and Dante Exum picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Kuzma passes to AI. That's just sloppy. Yeah, I mean, you can't lose control of the ball like that and let it get back across midcourt. Of course, he's stupid. Everybody's stupid. It, is, it didn't turn into a fast break the other way. Dead ball turnover. Here's Harris. Count the basket and the foul. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. A guy you can trust in critical spots. Harris, sensational at delivering for his team when they need it most. Well done that time. He is a player you can always count on in a situation like that. Exum kicks to Gobert. On the wing, Mitchell. Guarded by Harris. Mitchell in the corner. Down to five on the shot clock. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Boy, how big might this sort of mistake play out? You never know, but sometimes these are game changers. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Harris passes to AI. It's James atop the key. Back to AI. Kicks it out to James. No good. That would have tied it. They came close there to tying it up. Oh, he had it in his sights. He wanted it. That bucket would have been huge. Here's Crowder, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, make no mistake, Kevin. Crowder has got great strength inside. The defense can get physical. It doesn't matter. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Lakers trail by three. Hole with a wide open look. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. And how about the confidence with which ball plays? I mean, he just seems so much more comfortable taking and making those big shots. This guy is a flat out winner. Mitchell up top, guarded by Harris. I was right there. By Utah. What an opportunity here. Yeah, a chance to take the lead. This is huge. AI kicks to LeBron. Trifecta! <laughs> no doubt. You love seeing him knock down the clutch basket. And yes. Jazz call time here. Yes. They're trailing by two. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Mitchell against Harris. Pass to X. Outside Crowder. And he's no! Kevin, these are the moments where Crowder has earned the trust and equity with his teammates. That's a big time delivery. Now, here's A.I. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Big ball, please, please. There, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. First free throw is One good, more. and that ties the game up. I don't know how often we can say Thank we you. to watch a once-in-a-generation talent, but how lucky are we to watch LeBron do his thing? Well, in a game this tight, you can't overlook how important those free throws could be. And the Jazz call time here. They're behind by one. We've got 22 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? You know what? Enough time that they can run whatever play they're most comfortable with. You'd think they want to do everything they can to get it to their hot hand. And, and another yes. great rebound there. I mean, he's put yes. down a ton of them. Yes. And the size issue has not been a problem here today. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yes. You're not going to need He's not going to meet. Them up by two. And, and you see the natural talent Harris has. The game comes so easily to him and an exciting player to watch. 
And so both free throws make. are good. And it's a three-point game. Ah, no three. Central free throws to make a three-point lead. It's going to take something from long range now to tie this game. And here's Ingles outside. Bullseye! Woo! A tremendous three to tie it up. How about Joe Ingles stepping up in the clutch to deliver a big time bucket? I hate so this. Luke Walton decides to call timeout. I hate this. Six seconds left in the game. Yes. Bringing a fearless attitude in the clutch. You gotta love watching Harris do his thing when the game is tight. Yes. So it's one yes. of the taking the W in a close one. Yes. It was a fun yes. basketball and fabulous finish. Yes. Continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris. We're hanging there, man. This is Kevin Harlan. Oh, my God. Go in. We'll see you later. Oh, my God. Go in, man. I'm happy. Leave me alone. I just want some money. A lot of money. I don't get paid, I go with you. Nah, man. Who is you? You ain't nobody. You bad. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah. see that? Griff here. He's got a few questions for you if you have a second. Oh, sure. Yeah. Hey, Griff. Hey, everybody. Hey, I stand out performance tonight. You've really taken your offense to another level lately. How'd it feel to get all those buckets? Ooh. I'm in lie. I mean, it felt great. You know, my teammates were feeding me the ball, and coach kept calling my numbers, so I sort of just let instinct take over, and before I knew it, you know, we had the double. Does coach usually make adjustments like that when someone gets hot? Uh, yeah, you know, he's got a good feel for the game, and he knows how to adjust the offense for whatever's working. Uh, some nights it might be me, some nights it might be someone else, but, you know, we all just out here trying to win some games. And when you did. Thanks for the time, AI. Thank you, Griff. So how we doing, Charlie? We good? We're good, AI. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Good game. Good game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you all later. Ha-ha. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 